truth is, the game was rigged from the start. It, it was just a mutual beneficial sort of thing. I don't think it was. It, I like to think it was. Uh, you're thinking wrong, then. Yeah, I've uh, kind of doomed the NCR. It'll take a few generations, but I've doomed them. Right, this is Private Christina Morales. Did the Colonel send you? I, I was hoping he might have changed his mind. You look upset. What's wrong? I know. I've been crying. Stupid. I was supposed to be a soldier. My husband, he's a ranger, and he... He got murdered by a pack of fiends. Goddamn savages laid his body out to rot. Brass won't say it to me straight, but they mean to leave Esteban out there. I can see that plain. If your husband's dead, what does it matter if you get the corpse back? Wow, that's cold. Seems strange the NCR wouldn't do their best to retrieve a fallen comrade. The colonel says he can't spare the men to bring Esteban back home. And the fiends, they put all kinds of mines and traps around his body. Snipers, too. No one else will help you? His best friend, Jackson, tried. Didn't even get permission from his CO, so it could have cost him a lot. But he never came back. I'll recover your husband's body. Ma'am, I'd about given up hope. But you've got to be careful. I don't want anybody else dying on my account. Esteban's body is laid out between some of the buildings, east of the Repcon headquarters. At least that's what his squad mate said. There's an NCR position just north of there. It's on the way. They should be able to tell you what the situation is. Alright. So, retrieve Ranger's corpse. This is Corporal White's locker. That's for another side quest that we're going to be doing in a bit. But for right now, let's go and deal with the shitty food that this place is having to deal with. Yo, buddy. Listen, man. I know you're not really an NCR health inspector, so you can cut the restaurant critique routine. And I want my 50 caps back, because I looked it up and there ain't no disease called colorectal implosion syndrome. So I paid you to look the other way for nothing. Wait, wait, you're not. Oh, wow, I'm sorry. You look just like, never mind, sorry. So what can I serve you up? Is there a health inspector bothering you? Do I need to rough some people up? That's nothing. You just look like the health inspector who stopped through for the yearly inspection a couple of weeks back. I was hoping I wouldn't have to wait another 11 months to see his crooked ass to get my caps back. Ah, well. Anything I can get you? The spore extract from Keeley should help with morale. No shit. The stuff actually does all that, huh? I'll have to start testing this out immediately. This will really help keep the guys focused. So I just gave uh, spore extracts for the people uh, to basically now infest them more with zombie plant people juice. Can you stop? No. Eric, what do you gain? Nothing. Howdy. Looking for chow? So I also fixed the food processor. Amazing. I thought that thing was done for. That'll help me transform what I can offer the troops. I'll give you a little extra discount the next time you buy food from me. Thanks again. All right. So that deals with that. So zombie plant people stuff? No, gonna be a problem. But not my problem. Now we're gonna need to go to the Crimson Caravan for a bit. But before we do that, what we're gonna do is we are gonna go and see Contreras. Yo, Contreras, what's up, buddy? You look like someone in need of a reliable supplier. Got anything for sale? Take your pick. That's a lot of bullets! A lot of bullets. I can buy them all. I'm not. But I can. 
Wait, hold on. I'm not wearing my Celtings better clothes. Do I have a Roving Traders magazine too? Okay, I got my Roving Trader hat and that. And what do I got? Today's positions. I know it's just a regular bottle cap. Salesman Weekly. I'm a sell things very good, Travis. As you always do with your fancy clothes. My fancy clothes. Okay, I'm gonna sell this combat knife. I'm gonna sell this flamer. I'm gonna sell this laser pistol. I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell some cigarettes because those are the bread and butter of the wasteland. Da, 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 mantis legs. I've got 45 mantis legs. So many mantis legs. Actually, I should see if he's got um, miscellaneous. Does he have any? He's got ultra jet. He's got that strong inhaler shit. What does he have for apparel? Uh, nothing. He's got a sniper rifle. That's nice. Alright. I shouldn't buy this many bullets. Because I do not need this many. So instead, I will buy that many. I will buy half your bullets. Another satisfied customer. What supplies do you have in mind? Are you implying I have some kind of secret under the table stash I only offer to certain clients because that could get a man in trouble I could be pretty resourceful perhaps we can work out a deal now you're talking my language I do have an expanded inventory for people I can trust if you're willing to do a little legwork for me I could give you access to my stash and at a discount many of these items aren't available in the NCR and you'll be hard-pressed to find them at a better price anywhere else that sounds good to me. What do you need done? Well, I can't exactly go wandering off the base whenever I want, you know. They're already suspicious. I can hear the MPs now. Gee, Contreras, I didn't know you had so many friends in the gun runners. Speaking of which, guess your first stop. You're just passing a little note to a man named Isaac for me. I want to know which girl he likes. I'll do it. Great. All right. So that's nice. Mr. Contreras is, uh... A little bit of a sneak. So I'm a sneak on him. And get him in trouble. Because I'm an arc. Do 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 do. Well, I think I might get him in trouble. If I remember correctly, it's actually more beneficial to get Contreras to uh, be on your side. Because he gets some pretty good stuff. So long as you're friends with the NCR. I mean, I'm pretty friendly with the NCR. I just gave him zombie plant people food. I'm being generous. I didn't have to give it to him. I mean, I, I could have just let them all starve to death. What kind of person would I be if they had low morale and terrible food? Oh, I didn't notice that Wisdom wanted to join the call. Oh, I thought I said, hey, you want to join the class? I was really confused when he said that. No, he wants to join the class. He typo. It's okay, he's in school now. I mean, sure, just uh, pop on into general in my Discord, and then Travis, if you can add him. Sure.
All right. All right. Although I don't think I'm going to be able to stream for much longer. Because everyone wants to go to bed and I have to keep my door open because my cat, for some odd reason, ha likes coming in here now. Hello. Hello. All right. What are you doing? Uh, I just fed zombie plant people creating goo to a bunch of soldiers. Oh, no. Oh, yes. All right, still in the dark. And while I'm here, because I need to go to... How are you doing, Travis? I'm doing good. Do you like that sketch I did for you? Oh my gosh. Right, and gun runners. I'm doing so many art fights. All nice. the art fight. I'm probably gonna do a bunch of friendly fire for everyone in Team Nightmare. I wait where's Mr. Isaac? I should be he should be here. I should be able to talk to him. Let us talk to him! I love this right here. This kiosk was specially constructed around me to deter theft and assault. What do you have for sale, my good man? Uh, I don't really have anything to sell you, so that's a shame. Mr. Isaac. Hey, have you guys seen Isaac? I need to talk to him. Sorry, I haven't seen him. Where is he? I need to give him a note. Yo, Travis. Yep. Wait. We should try to play Mario Party sometime. I know. I've been busy with stuff. That's fair. I've been busy too. <laughs> it sounded so aggressive. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound aggressive. It's like they have wisdom. Everyone's aggressive during Mario Party, though. All right, but since I can't find Mr. Isaac, we're gonna set up some stuff with the Crimson Caravan and start up Cass's stuff. I know I said I was gonna do. Actually, no, I did say I was gonna do my pupper. So we're gonna go and do my pupper Rex. Are you sold on Monster Hunter yet, Travis or no? Because they kind of, they kind of just, um, I, Monster Hunter kind of just shadow dropped a new monster today. Morning. Not really now. Rip. What would make you? What would it make you get it? I don't know at this point. What if they give you the Ryu skin? No. What if they give you a Ryu monster? You fight Ryu. Maybe. <laughs> Silly freeside thugs. They think that they could kill me. What happened to the other guy? Who, who killed him? He died just by you walking past him. Oh. I think Rotface killed him. I didn't know Rotface had it in him. All right. Come to Mick and Ralph for all your shopping needs. I don't need to go to Mick and Ralph for all my shopping needs, even though they sell me the Pimp Boy three billion. Right, so let us go and meet the king. You looking to join the king? No, I'm looking to talk to the king. Hey, what do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Yes, I'd like to see the king if possible. Well, anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? 
I'm new in town. And I just wanted to pay my respects. You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The king's the bored looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. And here he is, the man, the myth, the legend, the king. Look, Rexy, someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Someone might have some work for me. Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? What do you need me to do? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him, play the part of an innocent tourist, and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Sure. Okay, then. Once you part ways, you turn here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. The king just gave me 200 bottle caps. And we have the quest, GI Blues. Nice. So, hire a guard named Oris near the northern gate of Freeside. I should also be careful because the guy with the man opener should be hostile towards me because I ended up killing his target. In fact, I think he's actually over here. Because I want to get the man opener. Oh wait, no, that's right, he dies. Right here. Little Buster. The cram opener. He died as he lived. Being a shitty person. And being a shitty bounty hunter. Alright. So our next destination is to finish up GI Blues because I forgot that I can't get Rexy Boy until later. And I still need to kill this rat. Please don't eat the ash. Please don't eat the ash. Hello. What? Oh no. What have I done? They're eating ash. What? I killed that rat, but it, I did a critical hit, so it turned into ash, so the kids are eating ash. Oh, God. I think I've made this slightly worse. What have you done? All I'm hearing is you're making things slightly worse, Eric. Let me just sprinkle some of that zombie plant people food on it. And that zombie juice. Now I've sold at your local gas station. What in the world? Okay, that's why. Yep. I should probably get off because my parents are trying to sleep. Okay, the kids are no longer eating ash. What are they eating now? Nothing. Their bellies are full of ash. God. 
Don't you know? It's one of the five food groups. Protein, vegetables, fruit, ash, and starch. If you need to cross free, son, no one will keep you safe. The last one seemed right. Yep. Two hundred cap gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the south gate. Done and done. But I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here all the way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, but try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. All right. So let us follow Oris. Oh, that's right. He's got a He's got a revolver. Here is the old Mormon fort. You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever knew their services. This guy's so cocky. On the next block is where the king pen is. Don't let them scare you. They don't outnumber you 5 to 1. You sleep fine. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freeside till you've been to the Wrangler. Oh, I just realized now that I'm in Freeside, I can get the sex bot. Wait. Yep. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. All right. Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Intelligence six. Yeah, you only fired three shots, but there are four guys there. Keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. Why'd you run ahead like that? Call it a hunch. You do this job for long enough, you learn to trust your instincts. Right. Pretending to be dead. Pretending to be dead. Pretending to be dead. Pretending to be dead. So they're all pretending to be dead. Well, here we are. No worse for wear, are you? I trust that if you need to cross Freeside again, you'll know who to hire. Right. So now that I have exposed Oris for the fraud he is, if you expose him right away, he'll become hostile to you and his friends will attack you. So that's more of a pain. What I'm about to do is get him killed. I'm going to sprinkle some of that zombie plant people juice on him. Hey. Right. What do you have for me? Oris is a fraud, he fakes attacks on his clients, then plays the hero. So that's how it happened. Okay then, I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something, so maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return I hope you enjoy that meme I sent you, Travis. All right. So now we got to go to the old Mormon fort. But That's whatever some... happened to Oris? He died. 
Yeah, he did. I'm gonna show off his body. It's nice. So remember where I found Little Buster? Well, that's where Oris is going to be found now. Because if you go over here where Oris used to be uh, providing his services, you'll notice he's gone. Gasp, what could have happened to him? The king wouldn't do anything bad, would he? Oh, wait. Wait, no, that's Little Buster. Coming a little bit further down the tracks, I think this is where we'll find him. Because normally I just kill him outright and take his gun. Or is he inside of the dumpster? I don't get it. Where is he? I don't see him. Where's his body? I wanted to hit the floor. Travel to Freestyle. Your safety. You must be new. Right. Dumpster. I'm getting kind of tired. Wait, hammer. Need that. I think I'll finish up this side quest and then call it a night. Okay. That or I'll finish this side quest, do Rex, and then I'll finish it off for the night because. Technically, we will have done three companions completion. Alright, um... Hmm. Where's Arcade Ganon? I don't get it. He's normally around here. Where is he? Is that him? Nope. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with. You need medical supplies? Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. Just come see me when you've got some... So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. You might ask around at Nick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrett's, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. more than rough it's a damn mess freeside townies are constantly picking fights with ncr civilians thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess freeside is in dire need but no one has been man enough to step up the followers can only do so much to stem the tide there is always something needing done a few souls here in freeside could be great assets to the community if they kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of... The big man around here is the king. He has the most influence locally, and some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NCR citizens and charging double for water. Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. Yes, old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he's sobered up. 
The Garretts hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. I'd start there. Sobering them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. All right. So that's everything we need to do set up for Freeside now. But let us talk to Roy. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we'd found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets. We started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. They were big guys, young too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about them. He saw more than I did. Wayne, it's okay. The king's... Is that true? Did the king really send you? I don't really know what else I can add. They were a bunch of guys. Better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait. I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something. Something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him. Lou Tenant. He probably said Lieutenant Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. I can't seem to find my good boy. Oh yeah, I'm still the Necrozma Arts in this server. <laughs> yep. I'm keeping up the bit until the day I die. Travis didn't keep up a bit. Well, I was the one that changed his name initially. Oh. Yeah, but let me keep the bit. All right. Save. What did you work on today, Travis? Was Rip. Have you found anything out, or were you just here to chat? Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's got to be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas. But now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter area where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. You got something you want to say? All right. So now we got to go back to the old Mormon fort again. Let's see if he actually ended up getting killed now. Because little Buster's body is still here. I could have sworn 
that Oris's body ends up on the end of the tracks. That's a good point. It could be the other side of the tracks. Because I wanted that revolver. That's right. Eh, let's just continue and do the thing. Old Mormon Fort. Do you need assistance? Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? All right. Right, and door to Freeside. You seen Dixon around? He said he'd be back today. Julie? Oh, I love Julie. She's such a nice lady. One time I was working on the water pump, and she came over, put her hand on my shoulder, and told me I was doing a great job. Great job, she says. I just choked up and didn't say nothing. Compliments are so rare these days. Drop drinking. <laughs> I've been drinking for a straight month. Listen, I I've tried to stop, but there was... See ya, hey, Kaiser. Thanks so for bad. stopping by. I feel like I'm gonna die. I, I can't stop now. Dixon sells me booze dirt cheap. It does the job, but it tastes like paint thinner, and I feel like I'm gonna die if I stop drinking for a day. I swear that guy's trying to kill me, but what can I do? Drinking other booze doesn't cure the sickness like he is. Take care of the dealer. All right. It can be bought. It can be found at Nick and Ralph. Hmm. like a person in need of a good meal. You wouldn't happen to be an... And then I'm afraid I have nothing to... That meal's still available, but only... Now, it's not that I don't believe you. That's a good attitude. I'm sure you'll do fine. These are just a few questions that just about anyone in the NCR would know. 
All right, here we go. First question. Who was the most popular president in NCR history? Peterson, Tibbet, Kimball, or Tandy? Uh-huh. Okay, second question. What was the original name of the NCR capital? Baradesh, Shady Sands, the Boneyard, or Vault 13? Right. Fine, then. Last question. What animal is on the NCR's flag? A two-headed bear, an eagle, a two-headed snake, or a two-tailed lion? Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like you've got... I'm sure some don't, but the loyal ones do. Still, you've got a fire in you that tells me you're one of us and just screwed up. So I'll let you take the test again, if you'd like. Interesting. I've never actually taken that quiz before. Wow. Alright. So I need to look where this part is. I don't get it. Where is the spot? All right. I'll be right back. All right. Hello? Hold up. What's the password? If you're here to see the major, then I suppose it's all right. Head on through. Here you go. I hope this helps. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen. Yes. I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. No, I'm afraid you don't. Don't you have a friend you wanted to bring in? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers, but they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. In a manner of speaking, our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now, there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. The plot thickens. Oh, does it now? Yes, apparently an envoy was sent to the king and was brutally beaten. Clearly he needed zombie plant people juice.
heard that MCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us to work out some deal. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. It's more like they sent someone to spy on us, and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do everyone a favor and keep I see you're re redrawing the art, Travis. Yeah. Make sure to leave one of the teeth uncolored. Well, do oh, you're true. Right now, I gotta be careful and save right here because sometimes people get caught on wrecks and then I can't continue because the game soft locks. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Handing out supplies like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? Huh. That would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? Gang, we've got problems. Play it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's pacing <laughs> with strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there. And hey, Travis, what are you doing tomorrow? Tell him I'm willing to cool. I'll do I'll I'll be in call maybe. I are, are you plan um do you have any like art attacks in mind for people yet? We'll take to figure out how to make the art attack thing work. I tried to do random. I tried picking a random person, but the site crashed. Oh well, it was working earlier today. Do you want to see that my favorite one so far? I kind of messed up on the scarf, but I drew this. God, they really need to update their servers though. It's really bad. It was really good this morning, Travis. You just yeah, because no one was on. Also, what do you think of that boy? Where's the boy? In text voice. <laughs> Looking at my server. Wait. <laughs> oh, pretty good. Did a good job. And then that was the, ah, uh, I did a revenge check because of the good dragon they drew. I feel guilty even if they're even with this team thing, so I have to immediately make a revenge attack for anyone who makes me art. I just really hope I don't wake up one morning to have like ten art attacks and have to make one for everyone. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. All right, so that takes care of that, which means it's time for me to get my good doggo.
heard all about what happened. Maybe Travis, did you just make that? A little less fight. <laughs> You've helped us plenty. So I'll tell you what. Just this once, name whatever you want. And if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. All right, and now I am level 20. So my repair, my melee weapon, what should I increase? Right now, 11 points. I need a higher sneak. Repair, lock pick, guns, explosive, barter. Now let's see which perks we can get. We can get solar powered mile in their shoes. Hello, Demos909. Uh, just looking to see which perk I should get. I'm thinking of maybe toughness. Welcome to the stream. Stream's not going to be on for much longer, sadly. Yeah. Because I got to I gotta go to bed. I'll probably go to bed, too. Um, oh, see, I don't really got any good perks that I want to get right now. Power 45, Agility 6, Perception 6, Sneak 30. I need sneak of 70. Did I discover Jackop's town? I think I did. All right. I'll actually put it all in barter. I want that. Uh, and then there. There it is. The best perk in the game. Now when I'm over encumbered, does not matter. So, there we go. Up and comer. That's for getting to level 20 in Fallout New Vegas. So now things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So what can I do for you? About Rex. What about him? Is there something wrong with him? He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out, and they said his brain is bad or something. Oh, okay, Jacob's town. I thought you meant something else. Uh I already did Lily uh Demos, I already did Lily's side quest completely. And I also have um, completely done it to where Lily will take her medicine every time. Because what I'm trying to go for is kind of a, like what I consider to be the best ending. Where every one of the companions gets a happy ending. Which can be kind of hard to do. No, they said they don't have the tools to help him. For now, but they said eventually it's going to get worse. I don't know what to do. 
I don't know. Maybe if you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you have better luck than I did. All right. Nothing but a hound dog. It's time to get our pupper. How many dogs can you get in this game? Um, only two. One is inside of the uh, Old World Blues DLC. The other one is in the main game, which is Rex. So what I need to do is I need to go to finish up Jacobstown because I want to finish up this one. So then in the next stream, I finish up Cass's side quests. Uh, no, I'm not going to go with the Mr. House ending because that actually doesn't give all the companions a good ending. Um, the NCR ending with some stipulations gives everyone a good ending because with Mr. House, you have to destroy the, uh, the Brotherhood of Steel. And I don't want to destroy the Brotherhood of Steel. I like them. Hi, do you need assistance? All right, Teen Jade. Thanks for stopping by. Rex, it breaks my. Oh, thanks for the follow, Demos. He's such a good dog. Yeah, thanks. We um, we all appreciate it. Ago, we had to tell him there was nothing we could do. No, Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work, too. I didn't say that. While no one here has that kind of expertise, I do know of one man who might fit the bill. There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was working on the I love how long it took for that alert box to go off. <laughs> Seriously, the alert box sometimes is like, okay, I'm instantly going to go off. And then other times it's like, nope, not going to go off at all. When Windows 10 is faster than your alert box. I've been wondering when a get down was going to happen. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is we are going to be finishing up Rex's side quest, which shouldn't take long because uh, there's three things we can do with Rex's brain. Um, we can give him Old Lady Gibson's dog's brain. Uh, Violetta's, one of Violetta's dog's brain, or, um, the one we're going to be doing, or Caesar's Legion dog brain. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So I think I'm going to head a bit. I'm tired. All right. See ya. Good night. See ya. She said, what? Why didn't she just say so when I was there? Actually, come to think of it, I was pretty angry when it went down there. I vaguely recall something about upending a few tables, maybe knocking out one of her doctors. Anyway, that's incredible news. Only thing is, there's too much going on around here for me to make a trip like that. And I need all of my guys to keep things settled here. You seem to be awfully interested in my boy Rex here, and you've done some good work for me already. I'll tell you what. You promise to get Rexy here to that doctor, and I'll lend him to you. What do you say? I can't thank you enough. Now, there's a few things you should know about old Rex here, if you're going to be traveling together. First, he hates rats. Can't stand the things. Giant rats, mole rats, doesn't matter. He catches a whiff of one, and he's off like a shot after him. He's normally pretty obedient, but you might have to chase him some if he goes after one of the little varmints. Second, he doesn't like hats, or the people wearing them. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Maybe because it rhymes with rats. That should be it, though. Other than the occasional bad spot when his brain starts hurting him, that is. But I'm hoping you will see to that. I wish you both luck. Take care of my Rex now, you hear? Rex, this is your new master. Protect her as you would me. 
And there we go. Rex is giving you the search and mark perk. Hello, my little Rexy boy. Eric. Yep. When I'm bored, I looked up a bunch of Fallout New Vegas gifts you can also use for backgrounds for your uh, stream camera. Oh? I've I'd... dumped them in the general. In general? Oh, I already love these. I'm definitely going to use the EDE one next time. There we go. Now Rex will not hate hats anymore. Uh, best Fallout game in my mind is this game, uh, King Leonidas Spartan. Uh, this is what I consider to be my favorite Fallout game out of the entire series, be it Fallout 1, 2, 3... Oh, thanks for the follow as well. Um, 1, 2, 3... Tactics... Whoa, 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 I hope Lily's not mad that I killed one of her big horners. Anyway, um, I find New Vegas to be the best of the games because it ties together a lot of the lore of the old Fallout games. And at the same time, it expands on it. While Fallout 3 was good in the gameplay department, New Vegas just takes everything and refines it better. And honestly, Fallout 4 was just a huge letdown for me in every step of the way. My true order for the games goes Fallout. Uh, Fallout. New Vegas is number one. Fallout 2 is number two. Um, I like Fallout 3. Then Fallout 1. Fallout uh, 4. Fallout 76 would be last by sheer fact that I've not played it yet and I refuse to play it. And Tactics, a little bit higher in the list. Probably below Fallout 4 but because I'm just bad at uh, CRPGs. Well, not CRPGs. That's a tactical RPG. Um, and then we don't talk about Brotherhood of Steel. That doesn't exist. Is there something else I can do for you? We don't talk about it. Okay. Right, there's something wrong with my cyber dog. I was told to come to you. It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long. So you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years. But there was one woman in Novak. Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. Aside from her, I know that the fiends and Caesar's Legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. So I already have a new brain for uh, Rex, and that is Violetta's brain. Uh, I'm not going to be using that brain. I'm going to be using Lady Gibson's one because I want him to be a good pupper. Not a drugged up pupper or a very racist and sexist pupper. Because that's what the Caesar's Legion is. Horrible. Well, King Leonidas, we have the same opinions on the top three Fallout games. That's great. So, you're back. Yeah, but we're on Fallout Battle Royale. That's that's seventy six. That's low on the list. Plus, also, there's a mod for New Vegas on PC where you can play in multiplayer and basically turn it into a battle royale. Wait, really? Yep. That's rad. I think it's still in development, though. Like it's playable, but it's weird. Doctor Henry. Now there's a name I haven't heard in years. Hard to believe he's still alive. As for your request, it's uh, a bit ghoulish if you ask me, but Ray is pretty old and I'll probably have to put him down soon enough. As for the price for this favor, 700 cap sounds about right. Ray's like family, and I've got other dogs to take care of. Because I have a barter of 70, I don't have to pay any caps. I'm offering Ray immortality of sorts. Are you really going to put a price on that? Fair enough. Here, Ray. 
Mama's got something for you. <laughs> I'm. Oh dear God. Oh, the New Vegas multiplayer is permanently shut down. Oh, that's disappointing. Ah, oh, now I'm sad. Because that was a great multiplayer mod. Was it too many problems that they had, King Leonidas? Or was it uh, copyright uh, cease and desist that they got? I'm assuming it was probably cease and desist. If you're also wondering why I'm whispering, it's because um, everyone in the house is asleep and my door is open because... Uh, the cat wants in and out, and I don't want him howling at the door in the middle of the night. Alright. So now, let's give this brain to Dr. Henry. Howdy. Is there something else I can do for you? <sighs> Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. Ah, copyright. Let's see here. Neural pathways look good. Definitely a breed of guard dog. If I transplant this brain into Rex, he'll be a bit more ferocious in his attacks. Have a seat. This will take a while. Rex has gained the Faithful Protector perk, increasing his attack damage. Is there something else I can do for you? Hello, my little pupper. How you doing? All right. So there we go. Our pupper is nice and healed. And so he's going to get a decent ending now. Which means all that remains now are the um, other ones. Yeah, see, the, I had a feeling they were going to run into copyright problems because of the fact that they're using the source code for the engine. And Bethesda lately has been really bad with their like mod community. Which is a shame. It's nowhere near like how it used to be. All right, so we still need to, we'll finish up high times. Side north gate, beside east gate. All right, so we'll finish up high times and then we will, well actually since I'm right here, gun runners are right over here, maybe Isaac's finally out. I see you, Vendatron. But I'm looking for Isaac. That's weird. He's not here. And I haven't killed him. I know I haven't killed him. Yeah, that's a shame. Looks like I'm going to have to turn Contreras in because Isaac's not showing up. Alright, we'll finish up high times and then we'll end off the episode because Neuronium is tired and needs to do things. Weak. Okay, you are the junkie. And you are the person being told for the junkie. You have chems, buddy? I could really use a fix. Julie's a saint, but I don't need help. I feel young and strong, as long as I get my chems. Why stop? I feel great. No worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. My damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was going to turn inside out. 
At this point, I'm mostly buying stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, do you have any spare caps? See ya. All right, so we got to get rid of Dixon here. He's supplying them with some bad cams. Oh, we got a free side thug. You all saw that, right? You saw my dog just bite off a guy's head, right? Good boy. Yo, Dixon. Hey uh, there. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. Yeah, man. Those cats are out of their domes, addicted to my shit. They can't get enough. It's pretty hilarious to watch. Really? Ah, oh, you're such a saint. You know what? I might be willing to stop if there's something in it for me. Wait, man. You can't go around saying shit like that. Okay, I get your point. You won't have to worry about me supplying those two anymore. Just to make sure... I want to get rid of this drug dealer for good. Also because I've never actually done this. Right, Dixon's dead. Dixon's jet. Interesting, interesting. Right, and so you're back. Got any chems for me yet? What? I need a fix now. Fine. If you really care so much, then get me some shots of fixer to calm down these shakes. I'm gonna need at least ten shots to get me through the week. From there, the followers should be able to help. Come on, you know, fixer, psycho, buff out would do it in one shot. Jacob, you're strong. You'll need to be the support of your friends to get through this. I think you're right. I've been through worse. I'll go to the fort and see if the followers can watch over me while I recover. All right. Now to deal with the other one. I did it, Travis. I'm a good person. I killed. Are you, Eric? I killed a drug dealer. I did a lot more than kill a drug dealer. No, I. I well, I spread zombie plant people disease. That is true. Everyone plants versus zombies in real life. Eh, it'll take a few generations for the zombie plant people thing to kick in. I'll be long dead by then. that's all my character cares about all right so once we finish up high time as I mentioned before I'm gonna be ending off the stream because I'm tired you slumber I wish to slumber it is also very hot in my room right now Oh, the Atomic Wrangler sounds like a great place. Right, and... Got a boat. Come on, man, I'm dying here. Oh, Julie, I've really screwed things up. I'll head over to the fort and get some rest. This has gone on too long. There we go. So now we just need to return to Julie. <sighs> Tired. All right. Let's return to Julie Farkas. Stuff we're not even to sell, 
I miss my beep boop. I love my my good boy, but I love my beep boop more. Which is why I'm going to be using that second gift you posted in general. <laughs> you know what's funny about that gift, Travis? What's that? You know what happens in the rest of that trailer? With the orb boy? Yeah. No, what happens? It gets shot down. Hi, do you need assistance? Everything in this game gets shot. Yeah. So, I help with the addiction problem you mentioned. I saw them. Thank you so much for helping them. This means a lot to the followers of the apocalypse. You have our thanks. If you need some medical supplies, come see me. With Jacob working with us, we should be able to spare a stim or fix it once a day. There we go. High times complete. I'm accepted by Freeside. Oh, hey, it's the Weathers. Thank you. We never would have escaped without your help. I can't ever thank you enough for saving me and mine. We're free now. So for those wondering who these people are, these people are the people I ended up um, freeing from the Legion camp before I irradiated it to high hell. Where's Arcade Ganon? Normally he's around here, but... But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Neuronium. And Civ. And thank you all for watching the resume. Oh, hey, look, there's Arcade Ganon. Um, thanks for watching more Fallout New Vegas. Again, sorry I'm talking so low, but, you know, everyone's asleep. And hopefully I'll be streaming more of this on the weekend. I'm looking for Saturday so then Kay can join. Um, and we'll go from there. So, see you all next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this content and wish to see more, why not check out one of these other playlists that are on the side right over here. Also, be sure to leave a like, comment, and possibly subscribe if you wish to keep up to date with the channel going forward. Thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you all for future episodes.